I feel as if I've been gone for a long time, but I feel as if I know so many of you. Uh, that so people have already said so several of the things I was going to say. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Uh, it said that, uh, well, I was going to say that uh, the famed Carl Menninger, Dr. Carl Menninger, uh, spoke of Dr. Nash as his most outstanding student, and I, I thought that was pretty great, too. Uh, Daddy attended uh, Topeka schools at Washburn, uh, where one of his professors was Carl Manager, which I didn't know until I read about this recently. Um, Carl Manager would become one of the most influential psychiatrists uh, in the United States by mid-century and was returning to Topeka from Harvard Medical School. After graduating from Washburn in 1931, uh, Daddy uh, established maintain contact with uh, Carl Manager through professional meetings and by, excuse me, inviting him to meet, uh, to speak at KU Reading Institute, which Daddy was very much involved with at that time. Um, as a full professor at KU, uh, Daddy also offered uh, teaching reading classes for university extension programs on the campus, I thought this was great. He organized an annual picnic for all students in the School of Education and served, and he also served uh, as secretary of the University Senate. Um, he took a broad view of his professional and personal calling. He uh, began a series, in 1931, he began a series of radio talks on uh, the KU radio station uh, talking about uh, use of using psychology, using helping people, uh, which was a whole different, whole new, whole new approach for most people then. Um, he <laughs> As a father, he was spectacular. <laughs> he, uh, he and my mother were, I, I just, I can't imagine more ideal images of parents than they were. And I think both Bob and I, at the time, imagined that everybody's family was like this. We had no idea that there were people who were having problems with their kids and so uh, it, it, it just it didn't happen in our family. Uh, I, was, I was pretty, we were pretty naive, weren't we? Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> pleasantly naive, yes. Um, Daddy was beginning to notice, well, no, no to be able to say that there were uh, elements in the in the education field, for instance, not just education, but uh, that uh, could could be identified and not just slapped down, but uh, something that Daddy was left-handed and I was left-handed, and I always loved being left-handed just because Daddy was. And when we went, I went to second grade, and my teacher said, "No, you cannot use your left hand." And and back in 19, when was that? Again, 35 or 36. Um, that that you know that's just what happened. And uh, so I went home and told Daddy that, and I said, "I can't write with my 
right hand. I just, I just can't write with my right hand. And uh, so he went back to school with me the next day, and he talked to the teacher, and he talked her into letting me use my left hand. And I still, I still am left-handed, and I'm still very glad that I am. Oh, okay. And what, what I know, was talking about second grade, when you notice the signature, you know how the Burt Nash is always a signature on there? That signature is on my second grade report card. Now that, <laughs> that's probably, probably not too well known. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, uh, Daddy was the first one in 1939. To, he established a, a summer reading institute for teachers. Uh, he had them come in just one week in the summer. And this was a very special thing. It, it was new, it was original, uh, and it was motivating for students. Uh, let's see. It all, you know, I wrote, always attentive to the whole person, not just to the person sitting, taking notes, or answering questions. Uh, Daddy arranged buffets or uh, for hundreds of students at, at the institutes and at, at the programs that he did. Um, he uh, was very involved with many other people in the idea of, of uh, increasing the idea of mental health uh, issue. And it's not just a, a rigid thing. It was. Remember the nervous. The nervous clinic that was the first, uh, it used to be just nervous clinic. Now it, it's all kinds of issues that people, that kids are, and, and adults are facing. Uh, I think Daddy helped develop that. Um, one of the things that Daddy said, uh, this, was, this was in the 1930s and this was very original at this point, is what I have to say can profitably be said in the presence of both parents and teachers. As a matter of fact, I have found that both groups are more willing to face certain issues when they, when they know the other group must face them too. You get a, a, a different point of view. Okay, that's, that's, that's about it. It's the whole, the values, the abilities, the commitment, the personal, the spirit. Uh, there was nobody like my daddy. He, uh, I think I think you all know that. I think you have, I think just the fact that Burt Nash Clinic is going on the way it is demonstrates the, the power and, and, and how influential and what a wonderful, wonderful person he was. Thank you.